are still talking to the sponsors, but without the sponsors, you know what I'm saying? It's you, we need to show. All right, so definitely we have another sponsor, and her name, I love her name. I'm, I'm gonna let her say it for you because you know how I tear up the names. Her name is Salicia. Why don't y'all just love that? Salicia. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am here today just doing a um, promotion for my company. I sponsored some organic hair products. My company is called Raw Gold. Mm -hmm. So I'm here just doing that. Um, I do this personally uh, just by myself. Okay. So that's really? what I do. Yeah, I don't have a team yet, so I'm just pushing this on my own right now. And um, yeah, so I, Catherine gave me the opportunity to come out today and do this, so I'm glad to be here. That's really nice. Now tell me, how does one start, I guess, organic hair, hair products company? Well, um, I became natural about a year and a half ago, and I just decided to start making my own products thanks to YouTube, because I do watch a lot of YouTube videos. So um, I started finding out that there's a lot of things inside of hair products that you find at the stores that are not good for your hair. So I started making my own products that are good for hair, promotes hair growth and healthy hair. So I just started doing my own. Okay, now tell me tell me about your, your clients. Cause you know, a lot of people, they're very skeptical of things like, hmm, I don't know. So how is it, you know, with organic products versus products with chemicals? Like, you know, how do people respond to the organic? Um, a lot of people actually love the fact that all my products are organic because they know that certain things are not good for your hair that you find in the local stores like CVS or Target. Um, so when they when I actually explain to them what are inside of the products and uh, you know do a little research, they understand that it's good for their hair. So a lot of people love it. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so now the look. Whenever I guess you know you see a hair you you see hair with um, chemical products and then one versus um, organic products. Which one do you feel I guess looks the better? Or, or is it better finish? Well, I always go with organic because you always want to treat your hair with the natural product. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much all the natural products pretty just help the natural state of your hair. So you can be permed and still use my products. You can be, uh, what is it, texturized and still use my products. It's just um, about keeping the, the health. Because you can have perm hair and have healthy hair and still have, you know. So that's what the my line is for. Very interesting. Now, are you a fashionable lady? Yes, I am. All right. So, as you know, today is true model management is here. So, who? So, I guess, what type of styles are you looking for today on the runway? Um, I love edgy looks. Mm -hmm. I love edgy. Um, I'm a big fan of color. Color. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm so interested in seeing everything. Okay. Now, since you do hair, what type of hairstyles are you looking for on the runway? Um, I'm looking for big hair. I love big hair. Okay. But I like sleek ponytails and like straight cuts and short cuts but I love big hair. Sounds so. good. Sounds good. Everybody once again this is Celicia and tell us where can we find you? You can find me at um, shoprawgold.com and also underscore raw gold underscore on Instagram. All right that is all she got to say and all I got to say is keep it locked. <laughs> Still keeping it hot in the midst. Yo tail, hotel, the real, the runway, the real way, way. Now let me tell you something. You can't have a fashion show without some good tune. That's why Rick is here. He definitely did his thing out. Y'all know y'all so. Rick, how are you doing today? I'm doing fabulous. I'm glad to be here. Very good, very good. Now you know that I had to really talk to, to Rick. As y'all know, I'm already from the big NC. Now he's been somewhere everywhere. So tell us a little bit more about where you, you know, what you've been doing in this crazy music music industry. Of course, yeah, it's definitely crazy. Um, <laughs> I, uh, you know, I came from North Carolina about seven months ago. Been performing here, there, and everywhere. Um, I was the Carolina Music Awards uh, R&B winner last year, and was able to thankfully open up for J Cole also in North Carolina. And now that I've moved here, I just got back from Toronto. I performed at the Canadian Music Festival. Okay. So, um, you know, and then performed here at the Yotel, which was a blast. Everybody was like, 
you know, engaging really well exactly. with my performance, and I'm really, really thankful for that. Exactly. He did a, he did very well. Now, now today you definitely sung, you know, some mainstream songs. Do you have songs of your own that you're working on? Yeah, yeah. Every single song that I finished with, because my, my whole entire performance was a medley setup, mm -hmm. but each song I, I ended with was my own music. Okay. Yeah, so I have that song, Do It. Um, I also have the other song, Me and More. I performed both of those. Those uh -huh. were like my ending songs, so Sounds people good. remember them. Now, who do you work with? Like, anybody instrumental or, like, who, like, helps put you, or who helps you put this together or just you? You know, a lot of it I would say um, is, you know, my influence, but, you know, nobody can be successful without a team. Um, I'm really thankful for my team, my street team, and, uh, you know, I, there's too many names. I don't think that I could really name yeah. them all, but I'm just grateful for Just all y'all. Just all y'all. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, now definitely, you know what I'm saying, you definitely, you know what I'm saying, doing it for the ladies. Now, what the how, now, you know, through your music and everything, how are you keeping fit for the ladies? Because they're definitely loving it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, man, I, I mean, you know, it's hard work. Uh, just going to the gym like four or five times yeah. a week, just focusing on my muscle groups and just trying, hopefully, to push myself to greater limits. That's what's up. Well, the ladies are loving it. Now, where can people find you? Um, they can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Just type in Ricky Jarman on Google, and I have a lot of my stuff that comes up. My website's also official, Ricky J, which is J-A-Y dot com. Okay. Now, do you have any... Any big projects, any big surprises coming up in the, for the summer? Yeah, actually I do. Um, I'm going to be filming another music video, okay. and this time the music video is going to be shot here in New York City, and I'm filming that June 4th through the 6th, and then we're going to try and push it a bunch of different places. My music's on Vivo, so I know right. it'll definitely be there. Yeah, exactly. um, we're trying to get MTV placement, things like that. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, everybody, this is, the, this is your boy, Ricky Garman. Jarman. Jarman. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, he's definitely keeping it hot in the midst, so y'all look out for him. Lock into his, his, his social media. He is going to be big in New York City and all over. And I'm your boy Z Fly, and y'all already know I'm keeping it hot in the midst. Keep it locked. Thank you. <laughs>Yeah, we're having so much fun here at the Yotel Hotel with this true model management search that's going on here. And right now I have another sponsor with me. Your name is? My name is Silvia Neri. Very nice, very nice. Now, I just have to ask, so where, where are you from? I'm from Italy. Love Italy. Love it, love it, love it. But right now we're going to talk about what she actually does. So tell us a little bit more about your company. Right. Uh, so I founded the Yoga Trail in 2011. And the idea is to bring yoga outdoors into nature. Okay. So I want to have people enjoying nature and enjoying yoga. So when the warm weather comes out, I take people to Central Park, I have a, a regular schedule of classes in Central Park and then I take people to hiking uh, upstate, I take people sailing, uh, I take people to the beach and do surf and I take people to Costa Rica, Panama for retreats. So that's the whole point, to just go in nature. Really? That I mean, that sounds really great. I, I, I sound like I want to do it. But now tell us a little bit more about yoga. So, you know, a lot of people are really getting more and more into yoga. Like, how does it differ than just like, you know, like just like aerobics or like different, you know, just regular exercise? Um, I think yoga, it's very good because, first of all, there's no competition in yoga. You are there to just... Uh, give yourself a gift and listen to yourself and you're reconnecting with your true nature and uh, you breathe and the breath actually helps you release intention and uh, really get comfortable in uh, in accepting wherever you are you can touch you can be touching your toes that's nice you cannot uh, be touching your toes and that's totally fine too and that's not the point the yeah. point is really enjoying what you're doing and reconnecting with yourself Sounds really good. So now, how do you get involved with True Model Management? Um, because I've been collaborating with other events with them. I'm a very good friend with Dale, and I really appreciate her work. I like what she's doing. So Sounds good. Now, now, are you really into fashion? Um, I can look at that. <laughs> I can, I'm interested, yes. Sounds good. Yeah. Now, now, what are you actually looking for today on the runway? Any, any particular styles or colors? Um, I would like to see something related to sustainable fashion. I'm very eco-conscious, mm -hmm. so I am curious to see if this is coming up stronger in the industry. Exactly. Well, it sounds really good to me. And once again, this is my friend here. Now, now tell people, where can they find you? Social networks, email? Uh, TheYogaTrail.com. Okay. That's my website. All right. Well, y'all keep it locked because y'all know what's coming up next. It's, it's more hot in the midst next.
We're dying to see you. The finalists are here at the America's Next Top Models. Got nothing on the Yotel. Runway the real way and true models management. True model management. It, we had a search today, and these are the finalists that the judges have conferred on. They've deliberated. They've been back there scratching their heads and <laughs> making their notes. So. Are you ready for the six finalists? Come on down! Line them up. The first one. Let's hear it for Alyssa! Alyssa L! Alright, Alyssa! And Nilza? Nilza. N-I-L-Z-A. Nilza! I know, I know. And third, Aria. Aria. Sing us a song, Aria. Aria. Oh, yeah. Come on, Aria. Aria. And Brittany. Yes! We got a fan club over here. Come on down, Brittany. Brittany. We got Brittany. <laughs> Elizabeth! Elizabeth E. Elizabeth E. Not to be confused with Sheena E. <laughs> All right, Elizabeth. And let's hear a curvy girls who won. And finalist, Jenna. Come on, Jenna. Oh, let's hear it for the big girls. Yeah. Curvy girls! That's where it's at. And last but certainly not least, Barrett. Come on down, Barrett. Barrett. Yay! I won it! Yay! So these are the finalists, people. Take a gander. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, all kinds of goodies. So let's give it up for the absolute winners of today's model search for two model management and runway the railway. Are you ready? Now, you're going to be really happy about this over here, guys. You know who won? Brittany!